<clears throat> we're doing something a little bit a little bit exciting today i'm doing this thing where i'm not gonna apologize anymore because you guys say over and over in the comments don't apologize for treating yourself and so i'm not going to i'm not going to I'm going to take your advice and I'm not going to apologize. It just feels like I should, I feel like I should be saying something. I feel like I need to make like, <clears throat> you can do it, Christina. Well, look at this. I'm starting a vlog on my iPhone. Never thought that would be a day like today. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. It's a Sunday afternoon, early evening. The sun is just pouring in through our big like wall of windows over here and I am enjoying a glass of rosé, Chateau Saint-Michel. We cleaned up earlier but it's absolutely a mess. So I've got my AirPods case charging over here. Actually I think they're already fully charged. I thought I would start this off because I haven't started that many videos like talking to you vlog style and I know that you guys like that and you know I don't want you to feel like I'm only doing sit down videos I'm not but well I sort of am but anyway it's besides the point um we've had a wonderful day today and earlier this week I got a really unexpected call um actually a text message from my lovely sales associate at Hermes and he was like can you come in and I was like, sure. It's like, I had like requested a pink baby blanket and it hasn't come in yet. So I was like, oh, is the blanket here? And he was like, no, um, a little bit better than a blanket. But he wouldn't tell me what it was. And <laughs> it wasn't in the next day and it couldn't come that same day. So two days later, I showed up to this Hermes appointment with no idea what I was there for. And so you know it's gonna be good. You know it's gonna be like top of your wish list item. I just had a feeling. It was either that or the reason why he wasn't telling me anything was because maybe it was for a special order, which I casually mentioned a few weeks ago, but it was like, I'll keep you in mind, you know, but I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> he walks out, he was like, so are you ready? And I was like, for what? <laughs> He's like, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. And then I'll tell you the rest of the story in this unboxing but i wanted to also say that i know i talk a lot about mindful luxury and that's something i'm definitely on a path towards and if you're here only for the unboxing i will put the timestamp. i know there's some people that just want to get to the unboxing that's totally fine i'm totally okay with that but in case you wanted to hear my little pre-ramble for another 30 seconds i am on this path to mindful luxury and what that means for me for me personally it's everybody's different for me personally it's about only spending money on my dream handbags, like I have a, a set list of goals in terms of my handbag collection, because I'm a handbag collector, I love them, to really stay, remain focused on that goal. I think that really helps with, you know, controlling impulse purchases and things that you're going to regret. At any rate, that's why I'm not, I'm counting this as like a step towards my goal of mindful luxury, but it's, it was not an impulse purchase. I had saved for this money and put it aside for whenever this bag or any other bag on my Hermes wish list would come in as an offer from the store. Not long after I bought my Holy Grail handbag, Holy Grail number two handbag was offered to me. So I'm still on Van Island, but getting offered a bag at Hermes does not count. <laughs> Yeah, let's just get into it because I'm super excited because this offer came my way. I was actually offered two different variations and the the offer came with a lot of like, I know you've been waiting a long time and we've said no a lot of times because we just didn't have anything to give. But my sales associate said when he saw this version in two different hardwares, he was like, how soon can you come in? He told me, he was like, he didn't tell me what, what it was for. I didn't know what I was going in for. I just knew I was making an appointment and I was coming in. And I didn't know why I was there. I'm not wearing any makeup. Um, it's the next day. I haven't unboxed this yet, but I thought I would do it here for you guys because I know you guys like it so much. And I do have a little accessory. And then I got a couple of things for Father's Day, which I really recommend going to Hermes for Father's Day because they're just the like classic Father's Day gifts there. But... I won't bore you with all the little things. I will just get straight into the unboxing. Ribbon. Me so excited. I'm not going to make you guess this time, but you can guess in your head. I will ask for a name though. <laughs> 
We are growing the collection by leaps and bounds, y'all. How many is it at this point? By the way, this came completely shrink wrapped. Nobody else had touched this. And as soon as I show you the color, I will I will let you know like what I, what what choices I was offered. And it basically like <laughs> selected this one. And so he like went back with the original one that he was gonna give me. He was like, I do have this in XYZ hardware. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll take that. This is one of the most, like I have a, like this is my Holy Grail bag right here. This is my Atan with rose gold hardware. And this was my next biggest Holy Grail. And I've got them so close to each other that it's insane. I don't know how I got so lucky. But hey, you just put it out in the universe. Raincoat, booklet, pillow, everything. I'm just so excited. All right, set this down gently to reveal. <laughs> I gotta get closer. Two handles, it's a Birkin, size 30. Black. Rose gold hardware. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe my luck. This is just like one of the most desirable bags. Rose gold. So he was like, he brought out this bag. It was shrink wrapped. It means nobody's looked at it. Nobody's touched it. Nobody's refused it. And he was like, so, and he was like, I was carrying my Berenia Faubourg, this brown one right here. Touched the sangles, the hardware on one of the sangles. He was like, so it's this hardware. I know you like gold. And he was like, but I do have one in rose gold. And I was like, <laughs> I love both hardwares. And he was like, okay, well, let's just go with this one then. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. But he was like, because it, it like, there's no going back. <laughs> you know, basically like, let's not open two bags. I was like, they're the same color. He's like, yes, it's black. I was like, oh my God. He was like, but if the hardware doesn't matter to you, gold is really classic. And I was like, well, rose gold, my heart sings for. So let's do rose gold. He's like, all right, I'll be right back. So he brought the other one back and he came back with this one and we opened it and oh my God, let's just, I cannot believe my luck. What the heck? I have just the best experience at the Houston Hermes store. They're just so wonderful. So down to earth. So unassuming, really sweet. There's no like, oh, you know, we don't have anything for some people and then we have something for others. It's just like literally what they have. So air paper, felt, taking that off. I'm getting good with the Birkin felts, you guys. I'm getting good. Here's the... Can you see? Black with a rose gold? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God, uh, stop this collection. We are growing the neutrals collection, you guys. I'm, my goal is to have like the best selection of all of the, like, all of my desired neutral handbags for my res. Okay, this color, this like, light is super bright and I buy a window so let me turn this down a little bit so you can see a little bit better wow you'd almost think it was gold until you look at like my Cartier gold bracelet you can see there and then the rest are like pretty much rose gold but you can see now how pink it is right it's hard to tell until you like really compare it to something. And then this is gold. So the rose golds, they stamp in gold. They do not stamp in rose gold. So, and then the window is reflecting the grass from my lawn. So it's like making it look yellow, but it's not. It's a rose gold. You can really see it on the lock. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> so this is my Birkin. 30 in black Togo leather with rose gold hardware. And it's so beautiful. Oh my God. 
30 is just the most perfect size. I just love it. It's just the best like everyday bag, every everyday bag size. I am thrilled. I'm actually not going to be using this right now because I still want to get a lot of joy out of my other recent purchases. So when I feel like it's an appropriate time to like kind of debut her, I will. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy, like get some enjoyment out of my other bags first because I feel like I don't want to cheat myself of the joy of the other bags. So that is, <laughs> I'm just going to make this short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I'm super excited. Dream bag. I don't know how I get so lucky with these things sometimes, you guys. I, it just manifested out there in the universe. I've been like lusting after Birkins for um, most of my adult life and into my teenage years when I just, I mean, they were a lot less expensive back then. And even then that was like super out of reach. This was um, something I could not, could not pass go. Do not pass go on this one. That, that was like sort of like a, yeah, that's, I'm gonna need that bag. I'm going to need it. And um, thankfully I, I save my money for rainy day just in case I get the call from Hermes purchases. So um, yeah, <laughs> this is just insane. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, not expected, definitely not expected. Um, so yeah, hopefully there will be more in the future because Hermes is the way to go. This is pretty much all I'm collecting these days is, is Hermes. It's just, you know, the, the, the intrinsic value that it holds, um, makes it a smart buy. It's just a smarter purchase than pretty much any other brand out there. And if you were interested in, um, like learning more about like resale value and intrinsic value and what bags and brands hold their value the most and what hold what bags and brands hold their value the least i would love to do a video on that for you but yeah this is this is just the best i'm so excited i mean rose gold feet even like oh i love it and the perfect size just one of the most delicious handbags that I've, I've laid eyes on. I'm so excited. I'm, I, I may not be like squealing. It's because Juliet's sleeping in the, in the next room over. So I just don't want to wake her up, but yeah, I'm super excited. Oh my God. Thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below with suggestions on what to name this one. Um, I have decided to go with your suggestions on the gray Birkin and we're naming her Rosie. Um, I think I'm going to name her Rosie gray. Gray is still like a cool like middle name. I, I don't want to like name them like non-human names. Is that weird? I want to name them human names. Um, so we've got Maggie. Um, we've got Rosie Gray. What are we naming this one? Did we decide on a name for her? I'm gonna have to go back to the unboxing video of this and look at the comments of what you guys suggested and we'll pick a name out of those. This is Connie <laughs> Constance because I she's named already a, a a female name so I just have to go with that one but yeah that's this collection is just turning out to be epic I actually don't have room on these shelves they're not tall enough for this one are they no yeah I think she won't fit I gotta figure out a solution but yeah thank you so much for watching this is a good problem to have guys this is a real good problem to have I'm running out of space for my Birkins <laughs> all right guys love you guys so much I'm, I'm super ecstatic. This was such a pleasant surprise and such a nice text message to receive. Um, so yeah, very, very exciting. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.